Hi everyone, my name is Early. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And how have you guys been doing today? So for this video, I'm going to open up my gift that my sister gave to me for my early birthday present. And um, as far as I know, the only thing that I know about this is that it is either a tarot or oracle deck. <clears throat> All right, so I just wanted to open this up with you guys and um i want to kind of like check it out you know shuffle it up and see what comes out for this video okay all right so okay i haven't opened it yet so now i'm opening it up i can't wait i really can't wait to see what it is i'm very excited because she knows that i have a whole tarot and oracle decks collection so yeah oh my gosh Wow. Oh my gosh. What a witch's kitchen oracle cards. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to use this with you guys for the first time. Let's open it up. It has plastic all around it. Okay. So the witch's kitchen oracle cards by Barbara McLojohn. Free Flavia Kate Peters. Illustrated by Richard. Crooks. There you go. This is how it looks like. Brand new. All right. So let's see in the back. It says here, time to go back to your roots and harness the power of nature. Engage with the messages and medicines of plants and herbs and invoke your inner kitchen witch. These cards will help you cook up and stir in the ingredients to connect you to the cauldron of life. From root to tip, each card reveals remedies, solves, tinctures, lotions, and potions to create well-being in your life. Enter this magical space and draw upon wisdom and recipes with um, still relevant in the kitchen today. This oracle contains 48 cards full of nature's homegrown magic, key focus words, a detailed guidebook on how to use the information, Sample spreads, easy to remember and repeat invocations, detailed readings and recommended recipes, factual information about each key ingredient, and it's $23.99 in the USA. Here's the price right there. That's a pretty good deal right there. That's a pretty good price. So now let's open this box up. Okay, we have here the sets that are, you know, it's all taped up with the plastic. So pretty sure this is so that way the cards don't fall out or like any of them won't get lost. And here's the little booklet. Here's the back of the booklet. Okay, so a little bit about the authors and artists. The, for um, Barbara McLojan Free was initiated into Scottish witchcraft, Craft of the Wise, at the age of 16 by the then Highland seer Swain MacDonald, considered the UK's best loved and hardest working wise woman. She is hereditary, electic, and solitary witch in a high, uh, in a high prestige of Isis. So, uh, for Flavia Cates Peters, is a hered hereditary witch having the craft passed down from her grandmother who embraces the old ways and the path of fairy witchcraft. She is a high priestess of the Morrigan, popular author, workshop leader, medium, and custodian of elemental magic. So, for those that don't know what a fairy witchcraft is, um, fairy is like, I'm pretty sure it's like fairies. Because I know that fairies have like AKA names like also known as names of fairy or fae. Um, I'm not too sure, but don't take my word for it. You know, I'll look that up myself. And Richard Crooks has been providing illustrations of um, for the publishing industries as well as exhibiting his fine artwork for over 30 years. Okay, so um, in this book... It, um, so we're going to go to olive, okay? The, the olive plants. So it 
it um represents peace it says uh let me see i'm i think this is a a little um spell that you say quarrels squabbles feuds and stress emotional irritations cause distress olive branch welcomes release go forth now in health and peace this magic is worked with harm to none so mode be there it is done it gives um some guidance right here on the top there's recommended recipes for like the spells that you can use with olive i'm pretty sure that's what it's for yes it is it's a spell and olive revealed sacred okay so a little bit about the olive so here's the guidance right here it gives a spell recipe and it gives um a little bit of details about what the olive plant does or olive she still a plant <laughs> all right so let's shuffle and see what comes out i'm actually not going to um really cleanse or bless this card set right now so i'll just do a little bit the way you can clear out the deck is simply by knocking on it three times and ask a question okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to shuffle this first okay Alrighty, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, and then I'm going to knock on it three times. And then I'm going to say um, to my guides, what would you like to let me know? Okay, let's do this. And I'm just going to wait for the, um, the cards to fall out. I'm only going to pull one card. I'm just making this video a very quick one. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Okay, it says here dandelion. Wow. And I do have a whole plant of dandelion. Wishes. Oh my goodness. Wow. I can totally resonate with this today. Um, if you guys can resonate with it, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Wishes. So to me, I feel like, although this answer is for the video, but to me, I feel like I have been making some wish and, um, you know, Venus was closer. We could see recently, we could see Venus a lot closer to us. So Venus is for wishes and attraction, beauty and love and, uh, and, you know, all that good stuff. So I can see how this can really relate to me and to all of you because, you know, Venus was closer to us. We could see it right by the moon. Really, really good. It was brighter than ever than i've ever seen it before well it's probably been bright before um but i just haven't really paid attention to it um throughout the years so let's see oh let me see okay so let's look up dandelion let's see what it says here for you guys for all of us dandelion okay right there okay so it says wishes okay so dandelion's guidance all your wishes are still floating around in the ether and won't come true until the moment you believe they will, for it is belief that is the key ingredient when it comes to making magic. That's just the first sentence. I'm not going to really read everything so that way I don't hold up your guys' time. And I kind of wanted to make this video a little bit short. Recommended recipe, like for a spell, it says dandelion coffee. For use as a laxative, increasing urine output. Take 15 to 17 dandelion roots and place in oven for about 30 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius until they are dry and brown. Now boil the roasted roots for 15 minutes in filtered spring water. Strain through a fine mesh strainer. You can add spices of your choice such as cinnamon. You can also add a little milk and honey. So for dandelion revealed, a little bit of the dandelion, it says recorded use for medicinal purposes of the dandelion dates back to the ancient Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans, and also to the Anglo-Saxons and Normans of France. The dandelion is thought to have evolved over 30 million years ago. Its name means tooth of the lion. It is not a weed, but rather an ancient healing herbaceous plant. That's awesome. All right, so in the book right here in the beginning, I'm going to the beginning. 
let's see what this okay so a little bit of the introduction it says imagine yourself in a very special kitchen dried herbs hang from the ceiling the pantry is filled with lotions tinctures and salts alongside jars of jam pickles chutneys and home brewed wines and ales herbal infusions poultices soaps and dyes are all made here exciting times await to learn about spells healing charms and how to make anything needed without stepping far from the garden gate Okay, so how to use, it gives us a little bit of an instruction on how to use this um, set right here. Um, it also gives us some sample spreads. So here's the how to use, so right here. Okay, and then here are some sample spreads right here. So the sample spreads right here, it lists um, three card spread, um, four card cauldron spread, and five card cauldron spread. The last one is right there. Card messages. Yep, yeah, and that's it. After it shows you what spreads you can use, that's when it talks about the cards. Wow, this is awesome. Thank you so much to my sister. I love you so much. You are amazing for this, you know, um, you know, that I, that I, oops, that I love cards. I love tarot cards. I love Oracle cards. She was a little bit worried that she would have gotten the same thing that I have already have, but nope. And she knows that I like the kitchen. She knows that I like to cook. She knows that I'm, um, that I use some um, plants for my spells and all of that. So yeah, this is great. This will really help me out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to my sister and thank you so much to you guys for watching. If you guys um, liked this video, go ahead and click the like button, the subscribe and the bell button to get notified on my next videos. If you're interested in any spells, blessings, card readings, personal card readings um, or any type of readings at all, you can go ahead and email me. My information will be in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please let me know if you felt like the dandelion wishes resonates with you or how you feel about that. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye now.